All right, I am back. So we're going to continue on with the stream, but to you watching on YouTube, this will be uh, a new video where we're going to be doing episode three of Stories Untold, The Station Process. Let's start it up. I'm thinking... I'm assuming that every one of these uh, games is going to have a uh, some text adventure aspect to it. Which is both kind of cool and also a little bit frustrating because I sometimes I don't know how to say what I'm trying to, to do and don't know if it's just not possible or if I'm just not phrasing it right. Ah, okay, so while this is going, if I still have Chiron here, Chiron, Chiron, you here? Chiron, Chiron, are you here? Station 3, do you read me? Give me a sign, man, this storm is getting pretty wild. Log in. Quit fucking around. Huh. Oh! How's that? Better? Okay, so I just started this. And really, it just showed that we were, like, maybe in some kind of bunker. And outside, it's, like, snowing in some kind of blizzardiness. Oh, I was just gonna, uh... If, Ky Kyron, if you are still here, I was just gonna ask if you were planning on doing a Let's Play of, uh, the Resident Evil 2 Remake. Because I watched your, your demo. And, uh, I wanted to see if I was hoping you were making the other one. Anyway, uh, okay, so... We're in some kind of blizzardy area, probably remote, I'm assuming, because this bunker looked like it was only big enough to fit, like, one. Uh, oh, that is incorrect. 0303. <sighs> oh, dear. 0303198. There he is. Finally. What took you? Is the microphone still broken in Station 3? I'll take that as a yes. Huh? Yeah. Can't reply. We should be able to hear you, though. Can see activity registering, so your voice is definitely going through. Oh, okay. We can chat later, 3. Yeah. This is pretty so serious. So, this is us. I've had a distress call from Central. There's a situation and we have to fire up signal monitoring and relay systems right away. What kind of situation? I don't know. I'm assuming it's got something to do with this storm. Whatever it is, it's big to want to involve us. Shit. Okay, what do we do then? <sighs> well, my fucking cabin power isn't holding up in this weather, so I can't process the signals myself. Two, you need to feed the frequency information through to the backup terminal in station three. And three, you just need to tune, decode, and process. Just refer to the handbook on the microfilm. It'll walk you through it. I've never done any of this stuff, so I'm not going to be much help, I'm afraid. It's simple, honestly. You could do this in your sleep. Okay. First one is due to appear in a minute or so. Have a quick read of that microfilm handbook. It should be on your left. I'm going to get suited up and restart the generator. Don't fuck it up. Jesus! How rude. What is this? What? What is this? Oh! Okay, three, we're up. Do whatever it is you're supposed to do. Shit. Shit! What? I don't understand. <laughs> uh, oh no! <laughs> I've gotta fuck things! 
I've gone and fucked things. I need to zoom in. I can't see this for shit. Oh, what? Oh, come on, zoom in. Zoom. Oh, and then I can bring it closer. Come on. No. Don't, okay, don't ever touch that again. Bring it closer. Aha! Ah! Oh, what a pain in the ass. We thank you. We at the center, er, we, <laughs> we, we at the central division would like, burp, uh, let's put this in better position. There, there. Now, just the focus. Uh, there, I guess. We at the Central Monitoring Division would first like to thank you for agreeing to commit to a year's service at the Remote Monitoring Station. The work you do here is of vital importance to the national security and blank of our great nation. Interesting that they had to wipe that out. While you may never receive the explicit gratitude of our citizens, we will always be indebted to you. Operator Roll. An operator at one of our remote monitoring stations will be responsible for the following duties. The daily monitoring specified radio frequencies and the input of test data in a timely manner. In the event of a national security emergency, you will be asked to monitor and input live <laughs> without question or hesitation. Input live ammunition rounds into a gun and shoot down any trespassers without question or hesitation. Carry out any maintenance needed on site to ensure the continual running of the station. Blank, 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 blank. Should such a situation arise, all intruders should be mauled by wild bears. You are instructed to meet with uh, supply, ships, and ration food accordingly to ensure the station is continually well stocked. In case of blank, your 14th and 15th molar teeth. What? What? In case of blank, 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 your 14th and 15th molar teeth. Please note that any instructions carrying a GSS, GCS flag must be dealt with as a matter of urgency. Okay, redacted. Redacted? Oh, is that, is that the proper phrasing? This will be aliens. I'm so excited. Okay. Switch to the next. That's the forward. Okay. Can, can I say, say, go, you can... There. That, there we go. Contents. Oh my god. There is so much. Why is it on this kind of a display? On receipt of this callback code, conversation operators must input the following command lines into the terminal and execute. System.exe... Oh, jeez louise. Execute. Ah. On receipt of this callback code, conversation operators must input the following. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. This, I don't need to read all this. I really don't. Mwah. Appendix. Alpha phonetic conversation. Is this Morse code? Ah, Morse code. Morse code, Morse code, Morse code. Alright, basically, I only need to be looking at... This right now. Wait, no. This. This. Okay. Transmission broadcast frequency 1930 kilohertz FM. Input broadcast authorization key. All codes must be treated as confidential. Do not write down the authorization key in any form. Okay. 1930. Input broadcast authorization key. Um. I saw that. I saw that. I started watching the first one, the first video of Claire B. Um, 
Alright, hold on. Second. Trying this again. Alright. I don't actually remember where's... Input broadcast authorization key. Oh, let's see what this what the helps are. Type case sensitive. Sometimes you type case sensitive into a computer. Press tab to move around the desk. Sometimes you press other keys. Interesting. I kind of want to hear what that guy said back there again. 1930 kilohertz. All right. How does that Conversion, 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 conversion. Page 24. Page 24. It's an appendix. Page 24. Conversion? This ought to be alpha phonetic. No. Morse code. No. Conversion. Oh, phonetic conversion. That may not be it. Okay, that's definitely it then. We're gonna rotate. Just like so. Not like so. What the hell? Crap, I don't I don't have the chat up! Rose the monitor, H H H please. Sorry. Let's look at so I, I didn't I had something covering up the uh the window. Okay. Input code taped on monitor. What? But I already did! I already did! That was my login. Is that gonna be this too? One nine two eight? One one nine six eight. One nine six eight. Is that correct? No. Uh, yeah, I have no emotes either. I'm not subbed to anybody. <laughs> Input code taped on the monitor. Input code taped on the monitor? No, this is the login! This is the login, boys! Maybe I should learn how to draw emotes or something. Rose the monitor. I already used- yeah, I already used that. Input broadcast authorization code. What the balls is the- Broadcast authorization code. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Is it in here? No, I hate this. Hate, hate it. Hate it. It should be in here. It should be in here, right here. Control operations message authentication. Okay. Cover forward contents. Oh, maybe it's right here. Maybe it's right here. Oh, no, zoom in. Zoom, 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 zoom. Zoom, 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 zoom. And look at that. Right here, right? Gonna be this seal? Or it's not. Well, broadcast authorization code. Does anybody see it anywhere? I'm looking this up. I'm looking this up. Stories untold broadcast authorization code. Um. Oh. Mm. 
Sorry, I had to tap away from the chat if anybody's saying anything in chat. Just hold on. Hold on. I can't be looking at Ark. I cannot be looking at the chat every second. I'm playing a game too. I only have two eyes and they have to be looking in the same direction. The dial on the right, it's not on that monitor. <laughs> Let me see. The da it's it's not on here. Look at it. There's no authorization code on here. However, I did look up something. And let's see if this works. Uh, it might be 13014-1493. I don't know why it would be, but apparently that works. All right, for fuck's sake, that's gone. Oh my god. So now I know what to do. I don't know where they even got those numbers from. Those numbers aren't coming from freaking anywhere. All right. Now I, I only have so much... I only have so much... What do you call it? Uh, real estate on my monitor to try to... They got it from the machine? Okay, alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna slow down. Rose, dial on the right. It's not on that monitor. It's to the right of the other one. It's to the right of the other one. You have to turn it up. You have to turn it up to the kilohertz. You're going to miss it. Yes, turn the dial up to 1930. Oh! I had to turn the dial up to 1930? Interesting. Oh. USB? LSB? I don't want it to be on any of these, actually. I want uh, kilohertz, don't I? Nineteen. Shit. There. Code reference abacus. Ah, right! Abacus! So, I think... Let's look at our code list. There should be an abacus on here now, right? Is that correct? There should... Code word is abacus. Okay, page six. Now we need to type in the lines that it says in page six. That is the wrong one. There we go. Okay. This thing is such... No! Don't ever! Why do I do that? Don't ever mess with the dial. Abacus! Okay, it says sys.exe space D-E. Okay. Alright. Enter. Next. Allocate. Is that a... What is that there? Is that a colon? Yeah, it is a colon. 282 negative A? Wait. Yeah, allocate. 282. Allocate. Wait! They said... It's case sensitive, all right? We must be certain. You guys, keep an eye out. Must be case sensitive, all right? 282, and a, all right. Everything's lowercase so far. Allocate 282, negative A. Okay, next one. Output log negative false. Output, oh, no, 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 no. Output log negative false. Double check that before we hit the final execute. And let's execute him. Oh. Is that wrong? Oh, you have to hit the power button. Um, it's on, right? This isn't on? Oh! Oh, 
Oh. I need, I need to write. I need to write. Give me this. That's the code I needed earlier. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. All right. Outlaw output log false. Output log false. Enter execute. Input terminal code hitting enter at the end of each line. Type execute. Oh, type execute to run the command. Okay. Where do I type execute? Oh shit. Okay, well fine. Um what was this one again? Output log negative false. Output log negative false. Enter. Execute. My second one was wrong? Remember programming in basic back <laughs> on TOS? Oh no! To allocate? Oh, this is 202. Oh, that's cheeky. That totally looks like an 8. That is an 8. What? That might be a 0. That's messed up. Oh! Where my game go? Okay. No. Alright, sir. You can be quiet now. <laughs> no, I want to go here. I want to go here. Would like to go here. Do I have to type this whole thing in again? Come on, just... Um, apparently I'm going to have to do the entire thing over again. Sys.exe Sys.exe And then negative D and negative E Negative D and negative E And then... Nope. And then enter And then allocate to zero to Colon, two zero two, no space two zero two, negative a. Output log negative false. Output log negative false. Negative false. Enter. Execute. There. That was actually a zero. That's messed up. That looked like an A. Who else thought that was an A? Raise your hands. Don't leave them hanging too long. I don't know what they're for. But I know we have to make them top priority, or I'll get shit. Of All course, right. don't worry, we'll keep on top of it. We'll keep on top of it. Okay, there it is. Creepy sounding things, aren't they? 3,500? Um. Oh! Mm. Okay, now this goes up to 3,500. Right? Right? It was a zero. Ugh. 3,500? Nope. 20, 6, 14, 0, 1, 2. Yes? Yes, Chevron! 14, zero. zero. Now you know the horror of pixels big enough you can actually see them. Uh. Wait, I'm not that much younger than you, Chiron. We're like, I, I think we're like the same age. Um... Chevron, right, Six. Chevron. Six. Four, two, Chevron four, is going to be on page. Four, Chevron. Two. 20. Four, okay. Two, zero, one, two. Need to be looking at. Oh dear. Six. Four, two, Have I gone and zero, screwed up? One, two. Portfolio. Ah, yes, I can see this. Kind of whiskey. Can. Alright, zoom 
out. What is this thing called? Does anybody know? Does anybody know what this machine is called? Orange, Centaur, Jennifer, Drive, Chevron! Alright, ref dot init dot negative 20, uh, negative, ref init, negative W. Ref. Alright. Lowercase, ref. No, ref dot init, right? Is there two ends or one end? One end. Aw, oh, heck, I'm the 20, am I the youngest here? <laughs> Aw. Okay. In it, ref in it, and then it was shit. Negative W, negative Z. Negative W, negative Z. That's distracting. After a little bit. Oh, this is capital P. Capital P. We have our first. Yeah, we have our first capitalization. Proc begin. Is that what that says? Oh my god. I like have to zoom in to be able to read it, but then it's too big for me to actually see an entire page. <sighs> proc begin. Okay. Proc begin. What? Proc begin. Shh, Ark, with your logic. Is that get? Get.int? I can't tell this font! Get. Get dot int. X, Y, Z. No. No! No! Oh my gosh. This is super annoying. Alright. Get int. Get in it. Int. And then bracket, and then X, Y, Z capitalized, and bracket, enter, and then execute. Oh boy. What? The first one's wrong. The whole first one's wrong. Okay, let's just type it fresh from scratch. Ref, I, N, I, T, negative W, negative Z. Maybe I didn't hit enter. Negative W, negative Z. Oh, don't make this... Don't make me do this all over again. Proc begin. Get int XYZ. Right. Uh, get... Shit, forgot it already. Get int... X, Y, Z. If it makes me type this again, I'm going to be extremely displeased. Execute. What? What? Oh my god, it's a capital R. Negative Z. Okay. Yay! Huzzah! What? Where did I go wrong? XYZ. XYZ. Was it... Where did I go wrong, guys? What do you see? And I hit enter. Why? What is it? I don't see it. Is there not supposed to be a... A gap? X second... X... X, Y, Z. X is second, Y is third. What? Huh? X, 
Why is he? <laughs> Am I an idiot? I'm not seeing it. To the guide! To the guide. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay, 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 okay. So. <sighs> Alright. If we go to. We're not supposed to put XYZ. We're supposed to be putting. Like. Whatever those are numerically, I believe. And that would make it. Gotta listen to the radio lady again? Again? It says at the bottom, what? 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 No, no, no. See, this, this bottom one is wrong. That's why. This this bottom one is wrong because it's not supposed to be XYZ. It's supposed to be... Um, appendix. More... Phonetic? Conversion chart? It's one of these appendixes that'll give us the answer. Page 22, 23, 24. Okay. It's going to be at the bottom of the chevron page command instructions. It tells you what X, Y, and Z are equal. It did? I didn't see that. Oh, maybe I was too zoomed in. Alright, let's go back. Oh, jeez, Louise. <laughs> it really did. It really did. So X is second, wait, where X second, Y fifth, and Z sixth number from the broadcast code. Hold on. Write it down. Twenty. Six. Fourteen. Zero. One. Two. X is going to be the second, which is six. Uh, y is the fifth. One, two, three, four, five, which is one. And then Z is the sixth, which is going to be two. So it's six, one, two. X, Y, Z is equal to six, one, two. Okay. Get int. Uh, is it going to be in brackets? I six, one, two? Let's try it with brackets. Okay. Let's nix the brackets. Yes? What? Get int xyz. You forgot the get dot int? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get dot int. Get dot int. Alright. Execute this bitch. Finally. Thanks, Three. Just pushing this update to the transmitter now. Getting the hang of it, huh? Uh, yeah. Next one coming up. Um, one. What does GCS mean? GCS? Oh, what yeah. Yeah, now this next one has come through with an additional note. GCS3 equals E1, V1, M1. I've not seen it before. Check the microfilm. Might be something in there about it. Listen. Let me know when you're done with that one. I haven't heard back from the transport team and I'm starting to worry. Sure thing. Okay, here it is. Whoa. Okay, that's different. Signal conversion. Flashing red screen. Yeah, quite the warning sign. Shit. Something's going on. The last two must have just been testing the system. Tune it as normal and I'll see what I can find out once I get these goddamn lights on. Okay, I saw something about this in the foreword. It said, anything coming through with GCS... Well, how about we zoom in so I can actually read it? Zoom in more, because that's still too small. This is the worst handbook ever! Why don't they just have a paper copy? I don't understand! Uh, anything... What? Come on, it said something in here about... 
about GCS. Please note that any instruction carrying GCS must be dealt with as a matter of urgency. <gasps> we gotta be better get over there. All right, eleven thirty-two ten. You're gonna have to go all the way up, 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 up. Eleven three twenty. 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 Kyron's right. What was I thinking? I should have definitely became a programmer before attempting this game. 11, 320. 11, 320. 11, 320. 11, 320. Okay. Get downs. 20. 11, 320! Oh, shit. There. Okay, so it's on. 11, 320. I'm hurrying! I don't hear anything. 11, 320. Oh, AM! What is it? Oh, it's Morse code! One, two... I... C I can't understand Morse code. I'm listening, sorry. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right, I wrote down what I think may be the dots and dashes. We're gonna go on over to the Morse code and see if I wrote them down properly. But see, that that happens way too quickly for me to really be able to understand which is dots and which is... Okay, we're, don't ever touch the thing. Oh, hey. Okay, what they're giving is a number. Oh, balls. Alright, so the first one was five dashes, which is a zero. Second one was five dashes. Da, 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 da. The, oh god, I have to turn that off because it's messing with me. Okay. Third one was two dashes and three dots, which is a seven. Then another seven, because it was another two dashes and three dots. Yeah, I was actually surprised. I, I just... Hmm. And then the, ne the last one was all... I think it was either a four or a five. I have to listen to it one more time. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe it's... Maybe it was four dots and a dash. I need to listen to that last digit again. Mm-mm, I was wrong. That's a zero. can't understand that last digit. Oops. God, this is hard. Okay, last time. I'm just going to wing it from here because I think I wrote down the correct ones. First first number is a zero because I heard five dashes. The second one was very similar, but the last uh, the last pattern was a dot, not a dash. So that is a nine, so it's zero, nine. And the next one was a definitely a seven. The one after that, definitely a seven. So it's zero, nine, seven, seven. And I think the last digit... Let me see what combinations actually exist. I thought I heard a dot dot 
uh, I thought I heard a dot dot dash dash, which may be a three dash dash or dot 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 dash dot, but that doesn't exist. Dot 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 dash. Okay, last number is either a three or a four. Yeah. Wait, what did happen? What happened? Oh, it took all my extra space. Okay. I think it's going to be 09773. No. 09774. Zero nine seven seven four. Damn. Uh, Arc says it's zero nine seven seven three zero. It probably is zero nine seven seven three zero. I was pretty damn close. I got the first four digits right. Okay, Kansas. I'm not digging this one, guys. I'm not digging this particular one. All right, now we have to zoom all the way out, rotate this again, place it back in its proper, right there, and then we gotta go all the way to the beginning. I mean, like, in general, like, Stories Untold is good, but this specific one with all the, with all the crazy numbers, it's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit frustrating I guess or maybe tedious or something something it's a little something Kansas is on page 8 Kansas is on page 8 where does it actually say the page numbers does it Kansas Kansas here we go shit don't ever touch that I always think that that's I keep thinking that that's the um X is the large number in broadcast okay I mean, I have a, I have a guide that's, I have a guide up if I need to look at it. I just, I thought, I thought I could solve that one. Um, okay, so point dot. You know what? I'm just, I'm gonna write this down. Why was I even going back and forth in the last, in the first place? Dot package, package dot, ex, dot x. Okay, and then second one is point. I'm writing this down now. P K G dot E X Y and then Sal negative A negative forty. Alright, time to time to zoom in and see what this little tricksy numeric digit is. Oh it's a G. It's a G. Four G. Ow, son of a Ow. That was just my funny bone on the desk is all. Okay. This is gonna be super quick because I actually wrote this down. Oh wait, X is the largest number from the original and uh, from the original broadcast and Y is the smallest. Okay. Which would make X nine and uh, Y zero. Okay, this is gonna go much faster. Point dot PK PK dot EXE space nine. Enter. Point. Wait. Is one of them PK and the other one PKG? No, they're both PKG. Well, oh, almost messed that up. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Oh, it hurts so bad, guys. <laughs> it hurt really bad. It hurt. Come on, I want to go back up here. No, I know that's wrong. I know it is. Yes. dot ex nine 
I keep hitting enter to switch between fields because when I'm typing in like passwords on a computer and I'm trying to switch between fields, I um, that's that's how you usually do it is with tab. Not in this game. Point dot pkg dot ex and oh, enter not tab. Sal negative a negative. Or G. Execute. That's better. Allocating resource. Okay, one, we're done. Nothing has happened really. All good. What did you want? I'm about to head outside to look at this generator. My cabin is completely out. Listen, I just checked the roster and we were supposed to hear from the supply team three days ago. But I've had nothing. No responses either. Shit. The storm? I hope not. Three, can you monitor a range for me? They're using emergency signals somewhere between eight, eight and a half thousand range. FM. See if you can track it down for me. That's our supplies for the next six months. If they turn back, what do we do? We can reschedule. I'm more worried that they didn't turn back. Otherwise, we'd be having a drink by now. The boat was called 20F. God, yeah. Okay. Three. Eight, Eight and a half thousand FM somewhere. See if you can pick up a distress signal or something. Twenty-eight. Okay. I wrote that down. We are looking at about eight to eight and a half thousand FM. A rose with a manacle and a fake mustache. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can make gentleman, <laughs> gentleman rosy mode. Oh my gosh! <laughs> a okay, keep going. We're looking between eight and a half, eight to eight and a half on FM. I don't know what we're looking for. But three, eight to eight and a half thousand FM. Yes, I know. I'm on my way. Okay, so how about we just go by? Is it aliens? One, are you there? Are you hearing this? I heard it. Lock your door too. Three, do the same. What do you mean? Did you hear the report? I just got a call from Station B at the coast. Something is happening. I don't know what, but they said we had to lock up and stay in our cabin. Then it went dead. What are you talking about? Just do it. They're here. Ah! Who are they? Shit, one, there's another GCS signal coming in. Do we do we process it still? Yes. As long as the GCS number is going up, we're helping a lot of people. Uh it was three last time, it's six this time. What does it mean? That's good. That's good. Just process the signal. I wanna lock my door. That's it in. Wanna go lock my door. It won't let me. Uh sixty nine Sixty-nine seventy. 
Oh, LSB. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. My. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Did he say Mike? Echo. That's the first one? Okay. My. We're going to have to turn those into numbers now. So, again, we're going to have to zoom out. And we're going to have to, like, position this correctly. And then zoom this out. And then go all the way to the beginning. Don't get so mad at the poor guy. He won't open it up if you talk to him like that, lady. Uh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. So... We need to go to conversion chart. Yes, conversion chart. This is in the appendix. But what is this? GCS chart? What? What is this? Opens to We don't even know what GCS stands for. Bravo. It's everything is... Echo. Oh, what did Zinc call it? Uh, redacted. Mine. E. Opens... Zulu. Opens Sierra. to... Command... Hotel. Opens to... Echo. Verbal command, speech, or shout. V is none. Obeys commands for movement. Hotel. None. Bravo. One for what? <gasps> I know what this is. This is the Glasgow Coma Scale. Nine. I know exactly what this. This is the. This is the Glasgow Coma Scale. Sierra. Yes. Hotel. So. Bravo. This is uh, eye movement. This is verbal, and this is movement. This is eye movement. So Nine. if their eyes open to Ooh. verbal command, speech, or a shout, Sierra. that means that in that. Hotel. It that means in that. Bravo. That means in that category, they get a... God damn this thing. Sorry, my language, but holy shit. This is a... a then they get a three. And basically, you add up everything in, in this cat... You add up all of their scores, right? So for movement, if they obey commands for movement, they get a six. If, if they have no movement whatsoever, other things in this category would be res response to painful stimuli. Um... Eye movement, yeah, then response to painful stimuli you would get, like, I think is like a three or something. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. But what does that mean for this? Nine. Glasgow Coma Scale? Sierra. Hotel. See, the only reason I know this is we learned that Echo. when I was an EMT. This is the military alphabet right here, so. Echo. I I don't know why I'm even looking this up because like Mike is at, I mean saying Mike is M in the alphabet, but hold on, this is this is like. This is, literally Eureka. Why is Glasgow Coma Scale relevant here, and why is it to be considered urgent? Phonetic alphabet, yeah, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta. So what? M Z S H B E. Is that all it really was from the beginning? I didn't even need to look at that. So if it's Mike, he says first. It's M Z S H B E. No, that's not it. Mike, Zulu, Sierra, Hotel. Hotel. Bravo. Bravo and Echo. Mm. I don't know if those would ever asso be associated with numbers, though. What is this over here on this side? What is this nonsense? I wish there was a much easier way to be looking at this. Why Glasgow Coma Scale? 
I s see, I don't want to say too much oh. about what I think. What is this shit? Bravo. Oh! Echo. What? Is this relevant? My. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. I don't... Echo. Okay, so... My. Zulu. This is relevant? Yes? Sierra. This is... Oh, thank you for saying that, Ark. I was gonna be. Am I am I looking at the right thing? Am I wasting my time? Oh, shit. Okay, you. You can settle down. Okay, so just gotta center this pr appropriately. So, all right. First letter is M. Holy crap! I can't make that out. Hardly at all. M. What is with these numbers? Frequencies? That's what it says, I think. Labeled frequency 5900, so you can see. Um, what frequency are we at right now? Yeah, that's what I thought. 6970? Okay. So, M at 6970. M at 6970 is 15. All of our answers are going to be in this uh, column. It's going to be 2. Sierra is going to be 21. Hotel is going to be 10. B. Somebody is in a coma. Somebody is being monitored in a coma. But how? Who? How is this relevant? B. Bravo is going to be 4. Uh, well, not necessarily just a coma, but it's for unconsciousness, too. Like, it, the way I learned it is like you use that when you happen across a person. Happen across a person that has an altered mental state. So, like, how reactive are they to their environment? Can they follow any kind of commands? Can they open their eyes? Can they look around? Do they respond to directions? Can they move anything? Do they not move anything, but when you apply painful stimuli, they, they do twitch or flinch away from it? Or there's literally absolutely positively no response at all? An alien coma. They're in an alien-induced coma. <laughs> Oh, are we are we currently in alien induced coma? All right. 15 2 21 10. I should have had a, uh, a pen and paper out for for a while already. 4 7 No, enter. Centaur. All right. Centaur. They make you work for it. They'll make you work for this one. In this game. I forget the nation station ba station outpost or something. I think it was called. Uh, zoom out. Zoom out! Oh, we're facing the wrong way. This way. This is the way we need to face. Station outpost. They make you work for this one! Well, the answers aren't blatant, I should say. No, there is no alien-induced coma. Um... Somebody somewhere is definitely in an altered, like, kind of response state. Altered consciousness, whatever. Okay. Let's just look for Centaur on the way back. I know we're gonna... Centaur. Centaur. Oh, we missed Centaur. Centaur is gonna be in the middle. Canvas. Orange. Centaur. Wait, is it Centaur? Yeah, it's Centaur! Shouldn't even question myself. Of course I was right. <laughs> okay. And zoom all the way in so that there's no mistaking what shit is. We'll zoom in even further. i clear this up. Why? Okay. So, it's M status. 
Maybe I should actually be paying attention to uh, what I'm writing down. M dot status negative R command dot str whoop, command has two m's command dot str negative z h dot grid dot ww maybe it's time to take a look back at the forward actually and apply centaur now this is my area of expertise aww <laughs> While you may never receive ex explicit gratitude f of our citizens, are the citizens they're talking about aliens? Importance for national security and blank, 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 blank of our great nation. While you may never receive, okay. In the event of national security emergency, you'll be asked to monitor and input live. Live. Some things. All intruders should be. Are we coming? Are we coming to be rescued? Are we three stations actually like captured and in some sort of simulation, uh, like that the aliens put us under and they're using us for some kind of manpower to help their own society? You'll be asked to put live hornets into here. Almost spilt my water. Yeah. Okay. So, so I think the three of uh, the the quote unquote them could very well be humans, other humans trying to help us. But then again, the person, the person did say that New York fell. I don't know. Status. Negative R. Command dot. STR STR negative Z Ah not tab enter H is it grid? Oh shit. Was it H dot grid or jid gid grid? Oh no. Ugh, I wrote I wrote G I D dot W. Well if it's wrong I will rewrite it. Yeah, it's grid. Whoops. H dot grid dot capital W. Yep. Okay, allocating resources. You were an alien the whole time. Three. Yeah, maybe we're the aliens. I don't know what I'm looking at. Cabling? One, I can see something above three's cabin. One of the power lines down. One, are you there? Launch successful? Oh shit, I wasn't reading that. Oh my god! Oh my god, we were... This whole time! Fuck. Have we been okay, launching on our own cities? I can't see you from here, one. What's going on? It's above me. Shit, it's above me. It's over station 3 too. They're here. What's here? Jesus, one, what the fuck is out there? It's fine. It's fine, you'll be fine. Um, I should have been. Here's another signal. GCS seven equals E one V five M one. One, what the hell? It's flashing urgent. E V five. Oh shit! What did he say? What did he say? E E. Shit. V five E one V five. I wrote down the last one, didn't I? Where is it? Yes. Somebody, somebody is becoming more and more conscious because the last G GCS I wrote down, she said was E1, V1, M1, which means response, uh, I responses is, uh, score was one. So I mean a one in the entire category, nothing like no, no responses. Verbal responded to no verbal commands, respond, uh, like 
ones could could say nothing like no yeah i think that's what that is and then for movement there was no movement detected whatsoever not towards painful stimuli not towards anything and then now she said it's e1 v5 so somebody is being increase is becoming increasingly more like aroused as in like awakened the white part behind the monitor is a window yeah see the little flashing little flag it's flag going out there Alrighty, let's eight eight eighty one fifty. Let's go. Eighty one fifty. Uh, USB. AM, FN, USB, LSB, or CW. Okay. That sounds pretty straightforward. One, one eight nine, nine zero, zero four, four five? five. Yeah, that was right. Sacrifice. One, eight. Watch that hoe from the ring pop up. We're gonna see some shit out the window. You think so? Are any of you walking around in that store? NS four? Crazy. You'll get yourself killed. No one is outside. You're seeing things, four. Four? Did we have a four? I thought it was just one, two, and three, and then the guy we heard on the radio that was from the lost supply, uh, supply party. Who's four? So apparently whatever was right above you has no problem with blizzard conditions. I guess. And we have like a downed power line? Maybe? Three. Not the station three. This is station four. Do not go outside. I ain't. Don't go out there. Stay inside. Lock up. Do not go out there. All right. I'm not going out there. I. Why can't I go over to the door and lock it? Sacrifice. Okay. <laughs> That's a little disconcerting. Let's go over to 18. Oh, I'm super curious now. I want to know who is waking up. I'm shutting down station five and getting the fuck out of here. They took six. Station six is fucking gone. Those things just ripped it out of the ground. Oh. Aliens attacking. So there were our aliens attacking. Okay. Alright, so that is gonna be there. What we need to do is rot. That doesn't sound good. Rot dot X. I have a a feeling that everything we're doing right now is oh actuate is what it says is uh definitely relevant to things happening so what we're doing I don't know you said a year at the beginning I wonder what time frame this has to be to have those microfilm oh microfilm is that what this is okay um actuate actuate yeah, I don't know if we're really receiving orders from the right people, though. I think we're receiving orders from the enemy. Why? Point. One. Let's see. Okay. Uh, numbers one, two, and three from the original broadcast represent a longitude. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm just gonna click over to my walkthrough because I didn't write down the first one. Okay. Alrighty. Oops. This is definitely a missile command? Yeah. That's kind of what it seemed like, or a, or a weapon, some kind of, like, weapon orientation command. For, are the reserve represent latitude? Authorization word from appendix 
see. Okay. I think we're the ones doing all the damage here. You know? Maybe we're the alien and lit- <gasps> That's- Oh my god, that's it. That's why we don't have a- That's why we don't have a microphone. I think that's why we don't have a microphone. Is because we're an alien. Alright, we need to- We need to get to the code word for Z. So, hang tight. While I... Freaking... What year is it? It's 1986. I bet you anything. Zoom out. Okay, appendix, 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 appendix. We're the alien. <laughs> closing. Nothing written on the closing page. Interesting. Or is there? Okay, just checking. Code words. I want to look at this again. It's amazing. It's verbal? Yeah, v. V for, v for verbal, I believe. Okay. Appendix. Code words! Here we are. Rotatum. Microchipum. Rotatum. Oh, jeez. I didn't even need to do that, did I? <laughs> okay, start. Mm, there. All right. Start. Signal modulation. Uh, shit. What's the signal modulated at? Modulation. It's at. Uh, it's at USB. So, broadcast frequency. It is at. 8150. It's at 8150. Process total of broadcast number numbers. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Total of six. There is greater than 30? No. Uh, no. It's not greater than 30. So it's Alexander. Okay. Jesus. They're making you work for it. <laughs> Yes, this is Harry this is Harry Potter now. Oh boy, oh boy. They make you work for it. Oh, they make you work for it. They make you work. Okay, so I'm just looking up the uh the three digits that they want us to input. So it's rot rot dot x uh, 189 and then it's gonna be actu actuate dot y we are Borg we will be assimilated 0, 4, 5 and then the last one was point point dot was it 1? yeah 1 I think and then it was Alexander We're gonna blow somebody up! Oh, it's not Alexander? Nine, oh, we gotta put it in the brackets. Nine, I think. Zero, four, Point dot one. And it's possibly nine, capitalized? Zero, Alexander. Alright! You guys ready for this? Allocating resource. Okay, pay attention. Pay attention to the screen. Initializing. Open broadcast. All launch. Yep. Transmitting codes. Three. James, the last signal hasn't sent. My terminal is going crazy demanding a response. I think the wind has misaligned the transmitter or something. We need to go out to it. Oh boy. Ain't gonna be me. Please, James. I'm sorry, but I can't get out. I'm trapped. You'll still be able to hear me, though. Go. Go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the 
watch it is. <laughs> that would be great. Oh my god, what? Where is it? Where is it? Uh. Wait, okay, we gotta look around. Defense DFSU. Huh? Generator? This? Uh, sometimes you press other keys. What is this? That's not in English. Observe, observe. War? Ward? 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 Oh, come on. What is the other... War what would it possibly say? Wardrobe? <laughs> like, no. Oh, boy. Looks like the writing on the generator was Russian. That's what I was thinking, but I'm not familiar with very many foreign languages. Or, like, any. What was it say? Wizard? Ward. Ward for... <laughs> Ward for <laughs> I was like, damn, I was right. Ah, oh, no, I wasn't. Pixely. It's not safe. We gotta go. <laughs> I, did, I did think it said wizard. <laughs> I heard something. It totally looked like wizard. <laughs> did I just go in a circle? No. Oh, hey! That's us! That's our window! Let's clear off. Let's clear off all the snow. Let's clear it off. So we can have a good view when we get back. Let's see what's going on. Alright. What? Wait, what did she say that, like, got knocked? Badunts. Badunts. You shouldn't operate a generator if you're in a hurry. You shouldn't operate a generator? In a hole. So we're trying to realign something because our command didn't go out. I mean, are we still? We don't even see if we have feet. But I'm assuming since we're we're trying to help, we're listening to what the other girl says, putting putting ourselves in uh, at risk, putting ourselves in danger to do so. I assume that we are human, and we are on the side of humanity, <coughs> because we just got attacked as well. So maybe we're, maybe the government is sending us se secret, like, codes to launch missiles from, like, I don't know, Antarctica or the North, North Pole or something. And this will, this is like, <coughs> this is hopefully to destroy. Oh god, the alien took your feet. <laughs> Maybe this is to, like, destroy the aliens? Did I... Wait, did I really just go full circle that time? No, because this is a cord. There was not a cord before. Ward 4! Hey, that's where those barrels came from. Ward 4. Come on, open! Jeez. What is this? Oh! Oh! This is what we were looking for. I think. But... Ward 4. Ward 4. Generator. There we go. Just click that. Wait, this is also Ward 4. That's redundant. Can't open it. Alright, so generator's on. What the hell am I supposed to do with all this? Oh dear. Oh my god. P1, P2. Transmission backup power system danger of shock signal link I'm very was that all I needed to do was this not on before it's all part of the ploy to collapse our shoe and sock industry they mean to cut our legs out from under <laughs> um I think I've done my job here I think I think I've done my job yeah, restart the generator. That's that's what she said. Okay, let's leave. Let's get back in before we freeze our little toesies off. 
Oh my god, my toes are completely numb. Holy crap. I didn't realize that. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Hmm. Just a bankment of just an embankment of snow. Nothing to jump at. Yeah, I was sitting with my feet with my foot under me. With my leg under me. My entire all my toes went completely numb. And I couldn't tell because I couldn't feel him. This is a long walk. This is a long walk. Economic. And it doesn't stop at shoes. Bicycling, walk, walking, even driving requires feet. They mean to immobilize us both in both the economy and a literal sense. Horses. Yes, they make us rely on the horses. We become so dependent on the horses that we never suspect that it was them all along. God, this is so indirect. You think they would have dug out a little bit more of a direct path to get to and from this little bunker? Oh my goodness. Okay, we're probably like gonna go into the safety of our bunker and then something's gonna jump out. It's gonna attack us. Maul us to death. Got get in there! Oh my god. Don't don't tell me. Oh my god. Walk through Oh my gosh. Yeah, I did. I did forget to do something while I was over there. Time for the long walk back. This is fun. No, there's no sprint. I already tried. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Okay, I, I mean, I was clicking all over that little panel with the switches, and, um, like, there was, n I could not perceive that anything was changing. It wasn't clicking anything. Nothing was happening when I was, when I was trying to click on those switches. So I just left it alone. I figured that I turned the generator on and that was all I needed to do, but no. We're getting a great workout though. Did you know walking through snow? Oh my gosh, that is a leg workout. That is l that is leg day. That looks like it's cold out there. Oh, it's freezing. It's absolutely freezing. I can feel it from here. Then you approach it, and then it rides you. Oh my gosh, how ridiculous. <laughs> because in Soviet Russia, I will narrate your story arc. Story arc! <laughs> Sorry, that was bad. Was there another generator to turn on? Like this one? Yes, there was. I missed that one. Probably still can't go in there. Nope. It's snowing really hard, yet there is just dusting on the ground. Um... I don't know. These are like... These are like piles. Like, these are huge, huge, huge piles of snow. Or do you mean like where you're at right now, Cap'n? Alrighty. Here. Now. Here now. There. 
Cutscene! I have... Uh-oh. Stretch those legs. Do I have to go out there and climb up that? I heard something. Oh no, I'm so on edge now. Something fell on her? All these buildings say W4. Oh my gosh. That... This... This wasn't here before? Was it? Uh... I'm pretty certain... Ah! I'm pretty certain those crashed cars were not here before. Shit, they're here. What are you doing? James, please. What? What are you what are you talking about? I don't think we're actually here, guys. He's coming back. Maybe. Ah! I was right! I think I'm right. But which right was I? Prematurely turning my volume down for those rose screams. Good idea. I hear whispers. There's whispers. He's coming back. It's me. I'm in a coma. I'm waking up. James, everyone is waiting on you. You need to wake up. I can't run! This is as fast as I can go! I must be wearing some serious layers. These machines, they are your lifeline. Follow them. Please. James, go to them. Tell them what happened. What are you talking about? Mr. Asian, can you hear me? Asian? That's me from the last one. These are rel related. Oh my god. Huh? What? What? Welcome back. These are all connected. Whoa. Guys, they're all connected. Those machines, I'm sure the ones he's talking about were um the little floating eyeball looking ones from the last game. She totally missed the giant tentacle protruding from the bunker tower. What? Oh shit, did I? <laughs> from the bunker tower? Like from my bunker that I was in the whole time? Yeah, no, I didn't. Holy shit, I didn't see that. Huh. So maybe the last one, episode four, is going to, uh... It's gonna solve everything. It's gonna it's gonna tell the entire story. So the first one was about someone going into a happy house, finding their old computer, playing a game, and the game was of that same encounter. But only it was dark, and then she said the family was dead. Seemed implied the family was dead. That it was his fault. He said it was gonna end it. I assumed it meant like suicide. Then the lab conduct, huh? 
I have no I have no idea about the lab conduct conduct whatever I don't know I'll have to think about this overnight uh, what's today Monday next stream will um, I'm sure be Thursday and it will probably be around our usual time sometime between 1 and 2 so we will be doing the uh, last session and uh, hopefully we can do a discussion in the same stream if my head if my head does not hurt too much and hasn't exploded. So this ended up being a super, super long stream. I must go. It is very late and I still have to work in the morning. So thank you everyone for suffering through this very long. I mean, these are short games, but like this, this took quite a while. So I apologize. I probably could have came into this less blind and more prepared, like played it this may have actually been a decent one to play all the way through first and then make a series out of it that's not blind. But, eh. That's okay. It's still good. Night, I just got here, but thanks. Sorry, Captain. We've been going for t like over two and a half hours. I must, I must, I must go. Have a good night, everybody. I will see you Thursday.